Hi everyone, so ever since I've started making videos about PvZ mods, I've gotten a specific question very frequently. How do you install them? So for anyone who has been having trouble figuring it out, this video is for you. I'll be going over how to install mods for PvZ1 and PvZ2. Alright, let's get started. First up, PvZ1. Oh yeah, just PC mods because mobile mods for this game, they exist but they're not really that good. So the first thing we need is a mod. For an example, I'm gonna do PvZ Real Life Edition. So I'll leave the link in the description if you want it, or you can follow along with whatever other mod you wish. So download it and you'll get a zip file. Put it where you want, for me I have a folder where I put all of my mods in, then extract it. I recommend 7-zip, I'll leave a link in the description. Or you could use WinRAR or whatever else like that. But it's simple, just right click 7-zip and then extract here. And we're done. No really, that's pretty much all there is to it. You just go into the folder and you'll see the game's files. Run the PVZ application that's in there and the mod will launch. So when you're installing mods, you're not literally modding the game, but you're downloading a separate copy of the game with the mods. So if you already have the game on Steam or something, it will be a different save file. So yeah, now you can play most PVZ1 mods. There are a few mods out there that actually do require altering your actual game files, like the paint pack for example, but most mods like that would have their own instructions that you can follow. Okay, so now it's time to talk about PVZ2. First things first, you can only play PVZ2 mods on an Android device or an emulator. Sorry iPhone users, you can't do it on your phone. But like I said, Android emulators work. So you can do it on a PC with something like Nox or Bluestacks. I'll be using Nox for this video, because I don't have an Android. But the steps will still be the same. So let's begin. First, download a mod. For this example, I'll do Reflourished. Follow along with whatever mod you want. You need two things, the APK, which is the actual game file, and the OBB, which is... Uh, actually, I don't know what it is, but it's important. So when you download your mods, it should have both of these files in a zip folder. So now we'll open the APK. If you're on PC, you'll need to add the APK to your emulator first. To do that with Nox, simply go to this button that says Add APK and select the right one. Launch it and the game will open, but it will be stuck on this screen. That's okay, we want that, so go ahead and close it. Now, we need to add the OBB into the game's folder. For an emulator, we first need to add it to our download folder. On Nox, just click this button here, then open the PC folder, and we can just copy whatever we need into this folder called download. So now, go to your downloads on your Android storage, copy the OBB, then go into Android, OBB, then find the mods folder. I have a few already in here. If this is your first mod, it should be mostly empty. The one that says RFL is reflourished. Just find which abbreviation fits. Put the OBB in here and you're done. Launch the game again and it works. Pretty simple. Okay, one more thing for PVZ2 mods. Sometimes they require what is known as a pp.dat. This is the game's save file. Some mods won't work without the pp.dat that they come with. You could also use your own pp.dat to transfer your progress from mobile to PC, and vice versa. Reflourish does have one if you want to use it to skip to the new worlds it adds right away. So let's install it. Download the pp.dat and add it to your emulator if needed. Copy it, go to storage, data, the mods folder, which is RFL, files, no backup. In here you should see another pp.dat, remove it, and then paste in the correct one. And now the mod will work. The end. So I hope that helps you. 
If you have any further questions, you can ask in the comments or in my Discord server. But for now, I've been Extra. Enjoy your PVZ mods. Mm -hmm.